Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you guys three different ways that you can use the synths in your melodies. And for this video, I'm not going to use any hardware synths. Everything is going to be from my contact bank called the Chrome. And yeah, let's just get started. Okay, so for the first melody, I just want to make something purely pure synths, like dark synth vibe. Open up the bank. And I have this preset, which I like to use a lot from this one. And for these sounds, you just want to have them really simple. They're a simple melody. I like to use quick render a lot, so quick render out the melody, to reverse it, uh, stretch it. Add some imager to it, uh, also 9 imager, I like to do, use this one, and just do like this. So we have a pretty fire start of the melody so far. I'm just going to add the thumb name as a fire bass. So for the next sound I want to add something which could be an accent. So we have to take down the decay. Uh, I want to add waves, the thumb, smoke. Row knot, uh, acid, and main. That should be everything for the sound. And with the effects on, we are just going to quick render the audio. And on the accents, I just put on some more Echo Boy plus uh, Valanta Vin Valala. and a Vintage Worm to reverse it and pitch it up uh, 12 cents. Now I'm just gonna use this piano to add some texture on top of it and we're gonna add some effects on it later. Yeah. I'm just gonna uh, quick render this as audio. Then we have this and firstly we're going to add our RC20 with this preset on. We're going to use uh, this EMR bank, uh, Deja Vu sidechain bass. With that again, we're going to pick So to finish in the melody, we added this uh, smoke preset uh, with these effects on and it sounds like a violin And with the melody Yeah, and uh, I quickly just made a beat with it, and this is how the beat sounds. So, for the second melody of uh, how to use synths in the melodies, uh, I have a preloaded melody. It sounds like uh, this. Yes. So the first thing I added in this melody was uh, this guitar. And the presets I used was uh, this Imager and this uh, Sheps uh, 73. And after I had the guitar laid down, uh, I added this uh, vocal. After that, I wanted to add this uh, guitar melody, which I had in my head. Terrible playing, but uh, with effects it sounds pretty cool. So I added this uh, also an imager and this guitar rig 5 uh, on this preset. Yeah. 
And with the rest of the melody, it sounds like this. The fire. So now we are coming to the synths. And the first synth I used from the bank was uh, obviously the thumb uh, bass. So after that, I felt like the melody needed some more motion, like uh, like a floating sound. And I went into went into the contact bank again, and I used the waves pad, like the waves uh, layer. And I used the XY pad, uh, used my MIDI controller to control the cutoff and basically how the pad sounds as the melody progresses. And that sounds like this alone. The next thing I added was this guitar uh, feel, or like a melody counter type uh, stuff, sounds like this. I added Echo Boy and RC20. After that I added this uh, piano preset from my contact pack again, the piano, sounds like this. And the last uh, contact thing I used in this instrument was not from one of my banks, but it was from uh, ATO, Studio Steel Drums. Yeah, nothing special to be honest. And after that I felt like the melody needed some slides and added this slide guitar in my uh, guitar. And so for the last thing in the melody, I just added this uh, uh, perk loop from, I think it was uh, Al Hug, I think his name is. And yeah, sounds like this alone. All of his perk loops are always fire, so I would definitely recommend getting his kit. But yeah, after this, I basically just exported the melody. And let's uh, go into FL Studio and see what I did after that. So what I basically did was pitch up the melody 8 cents and also uh, put it to insert 1 where I added a parametric EQ, a half time on this preset and an EQ2 again, bed it up to 203 uh, BPM. And as you can hear, like here it has like a accent thing on the start. That sounds really fire. And yeah, after that I basically just uh, bounced it into stems. The final melody sounds like this. So for the third melody of the day, I'm just gonna make a little baby type melody. So right now I'm just gonna mess around on the keys and try to come up with something uh, fire. So after recording for a bit, I came up with uh, this uh, piano melody, sounds like this alone. So yeah, after we have the piano down, I, yeah, I'm thinking of adding a pad, so we're gonna go with the waves preset and we're gonna turn on the LPF filter. So I can basically play around with it uh, using my CC1 uh, controller. Let's try something. See, that's basically how you use real analog synths too. You just play around with the cutoff when you are recording stuff. See, that's perfect. The next thing I'm gonna add is this smoke preset. Again, it's gonna sound like a violin. Yeah, I'm just gonna layer that with the melody. So 
So for the vocals, we're just gonna be using Exhale uh, on the Howl preset to come up with something. <laughs> This is how the build sound. So it doesn't do a lot in the melody, but it adds like the the top sprinkle on the sample, which I really like. So as you can see, we have the turn bass uh, up again. So we're just gonna add our bass line. So yeah, let's do that real quick. We are A sharp. So this is the bass line I came up with uh, at the end. That sounded pretty fire. Just put these down and do something like that. So to finish the melody, I just added a bunch of accents from my drum kit. This crash loop, uh, <laughs> guitar plug, impact uh, gongs, and this prog loop. Alone it sounds like this. So that's basically the whole video guys. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. And if you guys want to check out the contact library, uh, I'll leave a link in the description. And yeah, peace.